Um, hello, so today we are going to do um, weekly contest 321 that happened um, this week. Um, so the first problem is find the pivot integer. Um, let's take a look. So we have n uh, positive integer, right? And what we want is to find a pivot integer x, where what do we mean by pivot here is that the sum of all the elements from 1 to x, including x, is equal to the sum of all elements from x to n, including both x and n, right? And we want to return that number. And if we can't find it, we want to return minus 1, right? So basically we have from 1 to n, um, and we, know we want to find a pivot x such that the sum for 1 to x is equal to the sum for x to n, right? So pretty straightforward there. Um, if we take a look at this example, n equal to 8, 6 is the, the pivot because 1 plus t 1 to 6, the sum for 1 to 6 is equal to the sum for from 6 to 8, um, which is t 21 in both cases, right? For 1, it's just 1 from 1 to 1, so the pivot is 1 because 1 is equal to 1, right? So this one is straightforward. Um, for 4, we can't find a pivot. Uh, you can try 1 to 2, that would be 3, and then 2 to 4, that would be 2, 3, 4, so that's like um, 3, 7. If you try 1 to 3, that would be uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, and then 3, 4, 7. So, th yeah, if you, if you try all the numbers, uh, you won't find any um, any pivot that, that works, so we we'll return minus 1. Um, now, how can we solve it? Well, we can just actually just solve it literally like um, what the problem says, right? So what we can do is, um, so we can go through, um, let me actually just show what we need, what we are going to do. So we, we get the sum of the entire, so let's say S is basically the sum from 1 to N, right? Um, and we can just go through all possible pivots, so just and all the possible pieces of it are from 1 to n so in python that would be to n plus 1 right um and we'll just keep track of the the sum let's call it s1 so this would be basically um sum 1 to x okay um and to do that well we can just initialize it to zero and each time add x right because by the time we, let's say we reach two it would be 1 plus 2. When we reach 3, it would be 1 plus 2 plus 3. Sorry, here, x. It would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 because we added it here, right? Um, and so when do we know we have a pivot? Well, to have a pivot, we want sum from 1 to x to be equal to, let's call it s2, the sum from x to n, right? So s1 plus s2, right, is equal to s plus x because... We cut. We add x twice, right? So it's the all the sums one to x, uh, one to n, and then because we added x twice, it should be plus x. So what this tells us is that um, these two should be equal, right? S one should be for the pivot to be working. S one should be equal to um, s two, right? Which means basically that this here is just two s ones needs to be equal to s plus x. And this is just so that we can get rid of this calculation for S2, right? So 2S1 needs to be equal to S plus X because these two should be equal for for X to be a pivot, right? And so we can just check this formula here. So we can just check this. And if this is um, true, then we have, we have a solution, right? Um, so yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's do it like this. So let's do what we just said. So if we do that, um, then this is a pivot, so we want to return x. But if we go through all possible pivots and none of them give us um, the condition that we need, then we need to return that we didn't find anything, which is minus 1, as the problem says here. right? Um, and in terms of time complexity, this would be O of n, um, because we are doing just that loop. So let's just run this. Uh, now, just one thing, I didn't calculate S. Well, S, you can calculate it in two ways. You can just go through, or you can just do sum, right, for the range from 1 to n plus 1. That definitely works. Um, so you can do that. But also, um, this is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n. And this, is just mathematically, is n multiplied by n plus 1 uh, divided by 2, right? And so we could also just use this formula. Okay. Um, 
because s is the sum from what we said here from 